Hi, Dennis. Hi, Marianne. Look at that fire. I know. That is a beautiful fire. I know. And did you hear that airboat go by with the flat crank V8 in it? No, we'll probably hear it again, though. That was beautiful hearing all that noise. <laughs> Whenever there's an engine around, Dennis's ears pop open. They're probably hunting alligators. <laughs> well, we live, um, we live on Lake Griffin, really, so we get to uh, experience. I, I think what is great is the sunset over here. I haven't walked over there lately to watch it. But I like, now that I got a bike, that I can go for a ride and watch the sunset. Mm -hmm. Plus, her, I, her bike is silly. You have to pedal it. <laughs> yeah. And your bike is? Electric. You just ride it. Yeah. Well, is that fun, Mr. Holden? I love it. You do? Yeah, I like it. That's good. I'm glad. It gets me to work. Mm -hmm. When I get to work, I have energy to do my work. And what kind of work do you do? I do engines mm -hmm. in the small engine shop here. And what do you fix? I also fix the big engines when they need help in the other shop. So I fix weed whackers, blowers, chainsaws, uh, edgers, shovels, Axes, picks, uh, pole saws, uh, pole edge trimmers, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, lawn mowers. What else? What a value you are to this camp. Well, they they mow all the grass here. This place is crazy. Yeah, it's a big... How many acres do they have here? I think? 300 acres. Wow. I think every day somebody brings something to Dennis that's broken. Yeah. That's and, cool, isn't it? Yeah. And Dennis knows how to fix it. And the, and I think it was really cool that he took the shop. He, they gave him his own little shop, his small engine shop. And he, he organized the whole thing and people were amazed. Well, right? when I went in, the shop was... All the equipment was just there. And I started, half of it didn't run. So the people would come over in their gators and golf carts and pick up a blower or a chainsaw or whatever, and they'd take it to where they're going to work with it, and it wouldn't run. So you'd have to come back and say, this doesn't run. So what I did was I started a system where I have this green tape that's mm -hmm. flexible and I tie it on the piece of equipment. If that green tape is on the piece of equipment, that means I ran it, started it, and it ran to my specifications, that, that it's good to go. So when they grab something now, if it has the green tape on it, they know it's good. They, they know that when they get there, it'll work. And I tell them that if it ever quits while they're using it to pull the tape off mm -hmm. that way when they bring it back even if I'm not there I can see oh there's no green tape on that one must be a problem that's a way of communicating without ever seeing the person mm -hmm. so that's uh I bet you made a lot of people happy that said that made they said that made the biggest difference is the oh. fact that the green tape you know, because this you can communicate without communicating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's a lot of people here that work on the grounds, and that they use all that equipment every day. Yeah. This is a place where people come and volunteer their time to make this place beautiful, functional, all the different departments. And um, Dennis has a very valuable role here. And people are loving it that they have someone that's how to fix things. So that is really good. And I, I mean, tell you what, I'm blessed too. Well, I care. Yeah. Okay. 
I just care. That's you all. just care. That's why I had a good automobile repair business because the people knew I cared. Mm -hmm. That I was honest. Let me see. This does That's not. That's all it takes. Well, you know, we, we're down here in a, a beautiful uh, camp and retreat center. It's a Methodist, um, what do you call it, Methodist camp. A lot of these, a lot of the people that are here belong to the Methodist church and they have a morning devotional. So those that are work campers go into the pavilion in the morning at 8 a.m., and I haven't gone, quite frankly, because, oh, well, first of all, I'm not a work camper here. Dennis does the whole 24 hours that is required for us to have a free stay in Florida here, which is just totally awesome. And he r goes into the devotional every morning. You want to ex explain a little bit more about the devotional and what, what you guys do there? Well, they just take a piece of scripture and... Everybody asks their opinion on, you know, and they, the, we're around tables and we, we discuss in our life how that worked, you know. Mm -hmm. It's all about love. That's all it is. And you said that you like to go in there because what does it do for you? I'm Teachers. learning how to be around church people and, and love them. And mm -hmm. not judge them because I used to judge church people. Mm -hmm. So I have to say that he's got that quality that I haven't quite acquired. I think that if I had gone into those rooms, it would have been just a little harder for me. Only because Dennis has studied all these different religions. So when they bring up these different Bible verses and Psalms, I like I have no like clue. Who goes to church? Who goes to to Catholic Church for like years on end it doesn't learn a damn thing right so I get in there and I don't even know what they're talking about I just love them you know there's something we do get to do with them though that I do participate is we have a game night every Friday night so in the pavilion a lot of people not all of them but several of them gather and we play different games we get to know each other and there's one thing that I do participate in is that I do offer something called a chair yoga class to to the work campers or to any camper that's here not only are there work campers here but there's also people who who have a site and they pay for it where you know we get a free rent because of the volunteer work that Dennis does but I mean I, I feel like I get to know the, the the people here and help them you know to, with their um with their health and well-being and not only do I teach them cheer yoga but I also offer lots of help in health and wellness tips so we have a really fun time together so i you know i i, I love it here <laughs> we're we're in like nature's playground right here we're in a really sacred place yeah. un underneath these beautiful trees i would say that that when we had to move out of the villages because our rent was coming due you know it was it was up the, mm -hmm. the lease was up and your mom had passed so we didn't need to live there anymore we had to make a decision on whether we bought a house in Florida, rented in Florida, or bought a house in Connecticut and, or rented in Connecticut. And none of those options seemed to fit our budget. To fit our budget. <laughs> and so, and it also wouldn't fit our flexibility. Both Marianne and I are very independent. And when we th thought about the RV, we said, well, we could be in Florida for six months in the nice weather. And it's too hot here in the summer. So we go to Massachusetts and we're near Connecticut for six months. And so it's like we have two homes, but uh, we're only paying for one. Mm-hmm. And, and it's really worked out for us. The universe always finds the way and always makes it possible. But we're the ones that have to act on it. We have to act on it. If we have fear about making a big change in our life, then we won't do it. 
Mm -hmm. But it's it's always worked out for us. Yeah, it has. And I must add that, uh, you know, change was always hard for me, too. So when we moved out, I didn't want to move out. I wanted to stay in the villages because it was my happy place. I'm a fun, fun party girl. And I really wanted to honor my husband. He wanted to do this for a long time. And I worked on a vision board to create a life of freedom. So I went with it and I said yes. And another story for another day is how we manifested our RV. But what we're doing now is we're taking their 2006 Fleetwood Flare and we're turning it into a beautiful, beautiful home for ourselves. Let's turn on a little bit of light. We're, man we're just recreating the inside of our RV. We're painting. We're upgrading. Look at my little feet over here. Upgrading and creating a, a nice place that we can call our home. We went to an RV show in Tampa this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and we saw all the brand new RVs. Yeah. And what it did for me was it told me, there's no difference between the one we have and the new ones. I know. The only yeah. difference was the interior decorating and stuff like that. And so mm -hmm. Marianne's doing that. And she's making our 06 look like a 2025. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're right. When I even go online now and I look at the newer ones, I look at the Tiffins and I'm like, ah, I don't know. We're going to make, you know, because we have everything we need in there. You know, it's just like just bringing it up to scale a little bit. Like the feeling I want to have is when I walk through the door, i like, ah, this feels like home. You know, a 33-foot home. <laughs> and I have friends and, and people who look at me and thinking, how do you live in this smaller home with, with your husband? <laughs> And the truth is, right, you have to have a good relationship to do this. You have to have a good relationship and a campfire where the husband could stay outside. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a busy girl. I like, I like my Toastmasters, I like my yoga classes. I like a lot of things that require me to be, you know, Dennis goes to work, he comes home, and he's done. I have a little bit more on my plate. But I'm doing what I love. He's doing what he loves. And that's Why what's important. What you do is more. No, it's actually not more. It just continues. Like if I go and teach a class and I come home, then I have stuff to do. I have, you know, checks to, you know, whatever. There's a lot of, there's a lot of loose ends right now that are sitting on the table that I should be in there doing. But uh, this is much more enjoyable. <laughs> Sitting out here at the fire. You need a place to decompress. Yeah, that's right. A fire does that for me. Mm -hmm. So many a night, Dennis will sit out here by him, sit out here by himself, list, you know, catching up on his emails and his, his, you know, his different stuff he likes to listen to and watches the fire. And and many times people will come by and sit down. We'll have great conversation. Last night we had our friends over, and our one of our neighbors. We had so much fun. So. You know, a lot of uh, a, a lot of good stuff happens around the campfire. We've been all around the country now. We've been out west and back here and everything. We have not met a bad person. Mm -mm. No, we haven't. Stop and think of that. That's right. You could turn on the news, and they'll show you. This is ha that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. But for two years. During COVID, we've traveled the country, but we haven't met anybody that's not a nice person. Mm -hmm. This life is awesome. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it took me a while to say that. Two years now, March 
2nd, which is tomorrow, March 2nd, is our two-year anniversary oh of my. when we took off from 949 Oleander Street in our Class A RV, and the name of our RV is called Jiminy. Yeah. So... There's our nice greenhouse over there, our Blackstone grill. I'm sitting in the comfort chair. I can't turn the camera around to have you see me. I don't know why, but anyway, I'm going to I'm going to say goodbye. Anything else you want to say? Uh wh whoever you are, I love you. <laughs> From the teacher of unconditional love, Dennis Holden. Signing off. Have a great night.